Hey guys, Mike here. How's it going? Today, I wanted to take a look at the Shortcuts app and a bit more specifically, a script that was put together by a Redditor who goes by R Robert Peterson. And essentially what he did is he took a lot of the tools that are available in the Shortcuts app and put together something that technically works like a dash cam. Now specifically, uh, a dash cam that records when you get pulled over. So essentially you tell Siri, hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over. The app will, oops, she actually heard me, sorry. Let me turn that off. Um, essentially what the app will do is open up your camera, start recording. Once the interaction is over, you essentially hit stop and then it'll automatically take your location. It will record the video and attach it into a message. It'll also give you the option to upload it to either Google Drive or uh, Dropbox or another cloud service. So uh, let's kind of get into it. Um, starting from scratch here, I have a brand new iOS setup here. So we'll kind of see the exact same scenario uh, that you will if you've never even opened the app before. All right, so I have it in my notes app here. Let's get into it. And here it is. So that's the iCloud link. I'll have that in the description. Let's tap on it here. And right away, we get the notification that says, hey, uh, you can't do this because it's not uh, trusted and you don't allow trusted items to be installed. So let's go ahead and click OK and we'll go into the settings and figure out what we have to do in order to get this running. So we're going to go into settings. We're going to find the shortcuts app here. There it is. And now it says allow untrusted shortcuts. And as you can see, it won't even let us turn it on. Uh, there's a disclaimer on the bottom. You'll need to run a shortcut once before you can allow untrusted shortcuts. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, Apple makes this a little tricky. So we'll go to shortcuts and we'll do something really easy. Let's try to do create meeting note. Add shortcut. Done. So basically that's what we did. We just added a shortcut really quickly. Now the shortcuts will also appear on the side here. And you can tell, uh, you can see that um, this is, I forget what this is called. This is kind of notification center. Uh, or if it's not, maybe it's the widget center. I forget what Apple calls this, but anyway, you'll find that on the side here and we'll just have to run it once the shortcuts the shortcut will be able to read and create your events. Okay, that's great. Uh, you'll tap OK, allow. You have no meeting today. Boom. Okay, so technically we ran something. Hopefully that'll make it happy to, happy enough to allow us uh, to proceed further. So let's go back into settings now. Not shortcut settings. All right, now that we ran it once, we should allow untrusted. Perfect, we'll hit allow, and it's gonna ask for your passcode. And there we go. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and get out of this, go back to notes and try to install that one more time. Okay, so let's just scroll through this and see what I, what's actually happening. Uh, you're gonna say the phrase, I'm getting pulled over into Siri. Okay, it's gonna get the current volume it's going to set variable volume to current volume. It's going to get the current brightness, set variable to brightness, set variables brightness to current brightness. Then it's going to do turn do not disturb on. It's going to set the volume to zero, set the brightness to zero. So uh, basically you won't get any like notification noises and it's also going to dim the display. So as to not alert the officer that's pulling you over as why your screen's so bright or, you know, something like that. And I would imagine you'd want the phone kind of mounted on your dashboard. So you kind of want to have one of those, um, I guess holsters that holds your phone. All right. Then it's going to get your current location. It's going to get maps URL from the current location. And then it's going to say, send, I'm getting pulled over. Here's my location on Apple maps. And it's also going to take a video with the front camera. All right. So it's going to do set brightness to brightness, set volume to volume. So essentially this is like a really basic uh, programming similar to like what scratch does, but it's just built into iOS here, which is really cool. I feel this is like one of the first times that I've seen this 
shortcuts app really being put to use. Okay, so uh, here's a video of the police interaction. Save photos to media. Okay, turn off, do not disturb. Get the saved photo. Choose from menu. It's also going to give you the option to either upload to iCloud Drive, Dropbox, or you can just say do not upload. So there is some interaction here. Okay, and then here are the credits for the guy who created it. And uh, we obviously can add it. We scrolled through everything. We saw there's nothing fishy there or anything odd. So let's just go ahead and click add untrusted shortcut. So now it's gonna say recipients, who would you like to send this to? So here you can add maybe an emergency contact. You can send it uh, to your girlfriend, your wife, your brother, or sister, whoever whoever you want to kind of receive this. So I'm just gonna set it, send it to myself here. All right, and then who are you gonna send the copy of the video to? Same thing. Perfect. So added to my shortcuts. Um, so technically what I can do now is say, hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over. I'm getting pulled over. Okay. And So we'll click OK. This is the first run. As you do the first, as you do it the first time, you have to kind of go through this weird stuff. So at this point, you can see that it's a little buggy. It's a little buggy. All right. So uh, we enabled that. Let's try it again. Hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over. It will allow it. It also wants to access your camera. So we have to click OK. OK. All right, so we got through that stuff. Let's try this one more time. I'm getting pulled over. OK, I clicked OK. And there we go. So it looks like it made me do that a a couple of times it's a little buggy on that front uh and i don't think this is something wrong with the script and the way the guy wrote it i think that this is just a problem with uh the shortcuts app and siri and kind of a combination of all these things so let's hit stop on that video we'll say use video continue so it looks like it's processing i'm getting pulled over right now there are 25 actions there let's see what happens so it looks, like, it looks like it's on the struggle bus here. Let's stop it. Okay, I'm gonna quit the shortcuts app and let's try this again from the top. Hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over. Okay, so it looks like it just dim. It looks like it just dimmed the display on the phone. You can't see that on there, but up here, here you can see that that's happening. All right, I just opened up the camera. It started recording, so this was, you know, imagine that there's actually like a police officer interaction going. We just got pulled over. He's asking me why, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, nothing happens. He lets me off with a warning. So at this point, I can hit stop the recording. I tap use video. And then it says, is getting pulled over. would like to access your photos. Let's click OK. Boom. So it went right into the messages app created a message and it's sending it. Now it's also asking, do you want to put this into iCloud Drive, Dropbox? I'm gonna say don't upload. And it looks like it's done. So let's go see the messages app. All right, so it looks like it's sending the message. It also says I'm getting pulled over. Here's my maps location. It'll give you the geographic location and send that info over to whoever we set up um, prior. You know, I'm curious, uh, let's just for just for good measure, let's see if uh, we can try this again and see how it uh, turns out. Because I feel like that there were some things that we still have to confirm. So as you can see, there's a, there's some background work where you have to kind of do a little bit of prep 
to make it uh, run smoothly. So let's try that again. Hey Siri, I'm getting pulled over. Okay, screen went dim. You can see that here. All right, camera app is on. So same thing, kind of interaction happening. Great, uh, this was a quick one. Uh, I can hit stop. All right, use video. And you can see it's happening. Send it off, don't upload. So there are a few taps here. Uh, you know, Obviously, if you're getting dragged out of the car and uh, put being placed under arrest, you're not going to have much time to do this. So that's where it kind of, uh, you know, could, could be useful or could not be useful. But I think like if you plan it out carefully enough, you can hit tap and send and kind of have that go out in, in good time. So uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this is something that can be used effectively? Is this uh, kind of more of a gimmick or can it be more fine tuned and maybe potentially something that Apple could place into uh you know into siri so that siri does this automatically without you having to use this third-party shortcut maybe something that actually lets the screen be off entirely and uh it kind of all happens so that as soon as the screen locks the message gets sent out with the video and your location and you don't have to do any other interacting or tapping but in any case i thought this was something cool and wanted to share it with you guys thanks for watching and we hope to see you next time